Man, I'm trying to get a tan, but here we go. Final destination, winners of semis. We got Unknown versus Mars. This could have been a completely different set. So I don't know if you caught that set between Unknown and Cassius. But that went to like last hit, last stock. Cassius almost upset Unknown in the side. Yeah, I think Unknown is actually uh, proven to be a little bit of a surprise for a lot of New Englanders here. Didn't expect him to make it this deep on bracket at all, I Yeah, imagine. winner's semis. But we're gonna see how Mars fares. He fights Kool-Aid every single week in Winners Finals. But I, I, I didn't see Kool-Aid do that. Yeah, I didn't see him do that one. Down tilt up, up smash just immediately into the tipper. Yeah, Mars has no excuse here. You yeah. know, he, he has plenty of experience, but just because you got experience doesn't mean you know the players like that. You have to download mm. Unknown's playstyle as fast as possible because he is running away with it. You may know the character, but you don't know the player. Oh, here we go. Avoids the down smash. Oh, my goodness. With the border. Wow. He, oh, what the heck, man? What the hell are you doing out here, boy? You got that vanish coming out? I see. Oh, you got the neutral air. Sets him flying, trying to put that flip kick. Okay. Back here, able to push him out. Wow, again. Using that kind of second hitbox of the vanish to, <laughs> as an offensive tool. Not something you see super often, maybe every now and then for a cheeky recovery, but we're seeing Unknown using it almost as a staple of his gameplay. Mars looking looking lost. Somebody get this man a map. He needs to find his way back into the game here because otherwise it is going to be a very quick game one for Unknown. Mars almost snuck away that stock with the Zer off stage. Unknown oh, gets the bouncing fish. Two stocking Mars doesn't even fidget in his facial reactions. Honestly, I mean, he's looking like Mars one of the easier matches he's had today. Yeah. He's like, what? That's it? Like, I had to fight a Bowser that almost beat me, dog. Like, Oh. Oh. So yeah. sl slick looking. When you, whenever you see a Sheik just. And that's there. I'm so surprised that Zare didn't do it, but. I think Unknown just DI'd it incredibly well, if I do say so myself. Town and City. Game number one here at Top 8 Overclock 4. Go. Starting off with a triple chain affairs. Looking at the percentages, already got 33% backed up on a Mars and more in counting. Mars has yet to get his ground in this neutral game. Every time he tries to throw out a move, Unknown's already weaving and bobbing around. It has the punish ready and has yet been touched. Yeah, Unknown's kind of uh, running away with this currently. He's tweaking, bro. 87% finally gets a jab of all things. God, is that on a little bit of damage? And of course, the one thing that hits is the frame one move. Like, all right, yeah, you get those, yeah, whatever. Like, whatever, man. Like I said, Mars, you know, fresh off his Midwest Mayhem win two weeks ago. All right. Still really strong. He throws him into the ground, able to get the ladder. He was I like hoping it. he was going to go for a fast fall air dodge and catch that side B. Very sneaky. Not something you see super often come out of Zero Suit Samus' kit, but it does have its nuanced uh, niche applications. Are you pushing? Used quite here, not quite too full effect, but the idea. Going that forward, so just throws that singular needle against his opponent. Mars playing patient, just waits for the simple roll. Oh. Gets the spike off stage. What are you doing off there? All right. Oh no no no. Free no, no, no. punish. He didn't get too much off of it though. Yeah, I'm really surprised. All he went for was a forward tilt, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but hey, you know, I guess it led into a kill eventually. So hey. Yomi. All because Mars went for an up smash. I mean, wasn't the what wasn't like the greatest thing to go for, honestly, when you think about it, because it's a very greedy move to go for it at zero percent. Only right. got only would have gotten a little bit of damage off of it, and instead died for it. So and gotta you be careful. Get so much rage at that point. You know what I mean? If you're a rage GSS, you're feeling pretty yeah. good. Gotta be careful in those scenarios. All right, here we go. I know land right in front of Mars. Yeah, you no can tell exchange. he wanted Mars to go for a grab. He said and zero suit gets a grab. Ah! Forward what do you got? That's it? Uh oh. Okay. We good. We good. Or maybe we not. No final hit. You gotta be able to fast fall as fast as you can to get back to the stage to regain control of his character as his turn the stage temporarily turns into FD. No platforms. He's a flip kick. He just covers some options, spikes him into the ground. Not enough to get the kill though. He's been going for these paralyzers. Another flip kick spike. He's seeming to find his stride with this move. Like third time? Unknown just didn't know what to do with that move. I mean, that flip kick does have an active hitbox the entire time, so you just kind of have to respect it or be above her or something. Yeah, but similarly, if you, like, shield the kick of it, she's in so much lag after that. But the fact that he was able to catch Unknown just not holding shield three times in a row? 
You just, I guess he just didn't think he was going to do it that many times. We're going to jump into game number three. Counterpick coming out from Unknown. He's thinking about what stage he wants to take Mars to. Yeah, and Mars saying, all right, maybe this is the answer I was looking for. This flip kick seems to be doing uh, paying all the bills. So. Until it stops working, we'll see. And here we go to the Lilac Cruise. Now, this could be a good stage for Sheik. Uh, one example is if you manage to get your opponent on that platform above you, that's like a perfect distance for the Diamond Cutter up smash. Sweet spots to connect. And every single week when Mars and Kool-Aid would face here at the Balance Patch for the weekly, this used to be the go-to counter pick for Kool-Aid every single time after he lost game one. No. Double fair, not the greatest, but this reversal, terrifying. More unknown, gonna eat a lot of damage before missing that third fair. We got a lot of like whiffs going on here, a lot of the tilts on shields. Yeah, it, it seems like Mars is becoming more and more comfortable with the boxing in the neutral game, right? Before he was losing out to unknown every single time, losing to the movement, but now he seems more content throwing out these tilts, throwing out these jabs, and trying to fight him on the ground. Seeing a Ooh. lot of boost kicks coming from Mars. Definitely wants that to confirm. Unknown getting the punish afterwards. Sees the get up attack. Shows out yet another aerial back air. I think he's out of jumps. Has to go for the boost kick or the Zer to get back on the stage. Okay. That will be enough. So Mars up this time around. Let's see if Unknown's able to close out the stock fairly quickly. Because most of the time, uh, we've seen Unknown kind of be pressuring from ahead. Uh, and Mars kind of steals it a little bit. But now that Mars Solid, never forget about it. No, it's just, forget about it. The second he got that stun, you know, he's gonna lead in that ladder combo. He had him at the right percent to easily get that boost kick, so it goes for the set knockback. Sends him into the top blast zone, and Mars is gonna take a 2-1 lead against Zeno after such a strong game number one. And that's the game, that's the name of the show, man, is the adaptation. And the, the win condition for Sheik in this matchup is admittedly one of the hardest things to do, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, I can't get hit by this specific conversion or else I will die. And sometimes they're able to do it. You know, you get one, right? It's a two-stock game, you get one, but more often than not, it usually spells death for them. Yep. And I see Mars, you know, going for that grab pretty pretty early. Try to go for like a pummel afterwards, but at 0%, you can match out of that as soon as possible. Okay. Solid punish off of the uh, the whip up smash from Mars. It should be another punish. Grab conversion to Bouncing Fish. No, actually tries to go for a grab mix-up, but Mars gets the correct DI, and Unknown will not be able to get anything more than just a throw. At this point, you know, see uh, Unknown uh, struggling a little bit to try to find a way into Mars's defense. As I said, it gets him to 82%, free punish afterwards. You see Mars go for a lot of, like, long-lasting options this game. You see a lot of up smashes and grabs with it. Thing is, the risk reward is very scary. Yep, there right? it is. Yeah. I mean, like, literally, you just need to land it once and it leads into that big stuff. So that's why we see it over and over. So, no matter how much damage he takes, in fact, he wants to get hit. It powers him up, gives him the rage to be able to get that to work. I was like, I'll just, I'll just keep doing it. Like, especially since it's on the Sheik player, really, to make him deter him from making that decision, right? It's, oh, if I, all I eat is an F tilt fair, and I may as well just keep going for these grabs because you die, you know? So whatever, dude. That's and there he over. goes again. Whatever. Soft spot there. And we'll do a big of a follow up afterwards. Mars just coming in strong, gets the up airs into the ladder combo, sending Unknown off again, one stock away from moving on to winner's finals. Oh goes my God. A soft hit, sets him up perfectly for the flip kick, and that was just complete and utter annihilation into game number four. Where was he at? Like, I, I want to see the percents on He was like at 47 before he got hit by this? And just a soft hot, just like oh, smacks him around with that yeah. tilt, sends him off into the blast zone yet again. Mars moving on to winner's finals. Not too big of a surprise to see Mars up there, because on the other side, usually we'll see Light yeah. going up there. But we don't know who it's going to be yet. You know, we still got another side of Winter Semis. I believe it's going to be Jackal fighting off against the Light, I want to say. Yeah, and I, yeah. they must have played at least at Player's Ball, right?